Oh, and you craft it by hand. Okay. All right. You know what? That seems easy enough. And... You think I don't see you there. But I do. Get out of here. That's the second time a Yi Ling has done that. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Arc Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed ourselves... What did we tame? Oh wait, I think we tamed the spiders and we tamed the... Another Nothosaurus, or a couple more Nothosaurus. So these are the original spiders that we initially tamed. This was the 125 male that we tamed, and the max level female. We've already got an imprinted one, which is, I think, somewhere... I think it was back either back there or somewhere in here, anyway. And then we got two more spiders breeding up. We got the perfect male, perfect female. We're gonna breed them up, see if we can get some mutations or anything. Here's our Majungasaurus, Ankylosaurus, Dodicarus. I just, like, put some stuff places so then, like, I can spread everything out and whatever. So, yeah, there's that. I think the Rock Drake is in my inventory. Yes, and we've also got the Nothosaurus saddle. I've got two of the Nothosaurus breeding up. There's the max level that we tamed last episode. I also managed to get a couple of, uh, what's it, um, Gigantoraptors. So we got one... Oh yeah, these are the ones that I bred up for the same level. I've got two more of the same level just breeding up right now. So what we're going to do in today's episode, we're going to see if we could try to tame an Antrodemus. Now we know where they spawn, so we'll probably just keep killing them until we find a perfect level. But before we do that, remember how we would go to the surface a few times? Well, there's actually two other entrances around here. And I would like to see if we could find them real quick. I could easily do this off camera, but in case you're watching along, and in case you're playing along, and you want to find them out yourself, then this might be the right place. So, we're going to see if we could find them in today's episode real quick. We're not going to go in just yet, because we're at 90% day, 10% night. So the 10% day and 90% night will be soon. So we're just going to go ahead and drop all this mutton. Drop that. So there's the, uh, there's Milk Silk, our spider. I think we're going to put you, like, over here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I think the spider does come with a saddle, but I can't be bothered to do that just yet. All right, so for the locations, I've got some locations on, the, on my uh, notes. Give me a second while I go into notes on my phone. All right, so there are five locations altogether. We're only gonna focus on what's in the green zone. So we got the blue obelisk, which is the one we go to. That's northwest. The coordinates are 19.5, 27.3. Then we've got the red obelisk, which is southwest. That's 55.2, 22.8. .2, and then we've got the green obelisk which is 24.8, 65.5. That's the eastern part. Now, those parts of the surface have a lot more to cover. There's a lot more going on. It's a lot bigger. It has a lot more area to explore. So we're just going to find out the locations. We're not going to go there today. I just want to find out where they are so when we do go back there, I'll know where they are. All right, so what I might want to do, <clears throat> I'm going to go on the map. I'm just going to change the color of the surface one so we don't get confused. And then once we find the other two, we can go ahead and see what we've got. All right. <clears throat> All right. So the first one I think we want to look for is the red obelisk that's southwest. I don't think that's too far from us. Or is the green one closer. I think the green one might be closer. So what's the green one again? 2465. Which honestly isn't too far from here. So we're going to see if we can find that first. We're going to find the locations so I can pin them on the map 
and then we'll always know where they are. And then after that's done, we'll go ahead and we'll tame ourselves an Antrodemus. Hey, building supplies, wonderful. Haven't seen those in a drop before. All right, so let me just do a review. What do we want again? We want 24.8, 65.5. Alright, so we want to go a little this way. I'd like to see if we could find a male basilisk, like a high-level male. Maybe with better melee, because the female we had had terrible melee. I'll see if I could tame one of those off-camera, and we'll see what goes on there. Alright, so let me find this place, and then we'll find the next one, and then... Okay, what are you doing, Mr. Rock Drake, sir? Get up here. Alright. Alright, I will let you guys know when I find this place. Alright, I think we found the first location. Let me just make sure this is the right way. Up. Oh, I see some bright lights. That is a very good sign. Yep, this is it. This is it. Alright, let me just uh, go back to the entrance. Mark that on the map. I think this is the red obelisk. No, this is the green one. This is where we get to the green obelisk. All right, so let me let me go back and get this. Mark this entrance down so I always know where it is. All right, I've pinged it, so now we always know where this place is. Next up, the red obelisk. Okay, I think this is the way to the red obelisk. Well, there's only one way to find out, all right? Come on. Mushrooms get out the way. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is the way to the, the, um, what's it called? The red obelisk, I think. Yeah, the red one. So we'll mark that in red so we know it's red. And there's a green drop right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and pick up this green drop, and then we're going to ping that. Dicarus saddle. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and ping that. And... Ping. There we go. Now we'll always know where that is. So, I can just follow the waypoints to get there. Alright. We've got Tiffany on us. Let's head over to the uh, blue zone. And see if we can tame ourselves an Antrodemus. I do have an Allosaurus brain on me. I have a lot of stuff on me, actually. Let's go back to base and, like, drop this stuff off. Now, I'm not going to craft up the brain that we need until we find the one that we want. So I'm just going to save here. I don't know. We might use the Nothosaurus to fight this guy. I've got the saddle on me. Might as well, because I haven't leveled it up yet. Because I'm afraid if I use the Rock Drake, we're going to one-shot it. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Alright. There's a Nothosaurus level 5. Let's kill you. Yeah, we do 5,000 damage. We might one-shot it. So. Let me see. Uh, Antrodemus, I think the lowest we'll go is a 120. We'll see how much Torpor it has. And we might level up in all health. I'm also keeping an eye on a high-level spider. This is 75 and a 10. All right, once we find the Antrodemus that we want, then we'll craft the brain. Because that's what we need to tame this guy. Because we need to lure it with the brain. It'll challenge us to a fight, and then we fight it until it gets knocked out. That's the goal. Yeah, so when you fight it, it will increase its torpor. There's one right here. 100? 4,900 torpor. I mean... That doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Level 100 isn't the greatest, but it's not the worst. You know, we'll keep you alive. Just in case... All right, we've pinged it. So if we don't find anything higher, then we'll 
then we'll go for it. There's another Andronios. That's a 60. So we can go ahead and kill that one. I think they do drop brains. So if we fail the first time, we have an extra. Yeah, that's that's good. We've got extras. Alright, well... Not seeing any more Antrodemus. So we are going to have to settle for the level 100. Which, to be honest, 100 isn't too bad of a level. It's not the greatest level, but it's not the worst. It only has 4,900 Torpor. So it should go out with no problem. Hopefully. Hopefully it goes down before the Nothosaurus goes down. Because I don't want to lose this max level Nothosaurus. At least if we mess this up. That's a 135 female Megalosaurus. Should we go ahead and tame that real quick? What's the stats? 21 into health and the melee, 18 melee. Is it worth it? That was a tiny spider. Eh, screw it. I'll just try to tame this Megalosaurus, and then in the meantime... Alright, Rock Drake, just tank it. We can tank it. Just in case it ends up having really good melee. I mean, the melee looks terrible. Alright. Let's chase it down. I don't want to miss any of these shots. Trees! Get out of the way! And down he goes. Awesome. I don't wanna, we don't want to kill the spider. I think with the spider, as long as we don't bother it, it shouldn't bother us. Do we have any prime on us? We do. Just in case it ends up being really good, I'm gonna tame it. And you're protective. That's your gene. Alright. You should tame up with that 10, right? Yeah, you take 4, so we should be good. Alright, while you tame, I'm gonna go see about that Antrodemus. Well, I do see a Baryonyx here. I'd like to see if I could get a high-level female. 45. Wait, let me see that. Yeah, 45. If you could have been a 145, that would have been great. And I would have tamed you for sure. 95. Okay. Only about five levels less than what I was uh, looking for. I was looking for the 100. I couldn't find it. So this 95 might have to do. It's being attacked by Ravagers. Hopefully it doesn't die. Those Ravagers, I think, are kicking its ass. Yeah, if I go in there, I'm gonna one-shot the Antrodemus. I know I am. Ow, okay. Please, sir, I'm not ready for you yet. Sir! That did 650 damage. How it did that much, I have no idea. Oh, Jesus. That was doing damage over time. Did you see that? How's the Nothosaurus supposed to beat this guy? Oh, no. The Androdemus is gonna die. Oh, he's healing. Oh. I'm just watching him from afar, and... He's taking on those Arthropleuras like a champ. Unless we level up the Nothosaurus in enough health where it can tank it, we should be good. What level is this guy? That's a 115 female Megalosaurus. Let me just take care of this 115 real quick. I mean, there was still a chance that it could have really good stats. Because Rampage was a 115 Ravager, and he ended up having really good melee. But I didn't want to take any chances. We already got the 135. Megalosaurus taming, so... Alright. We'll make the other one just in case we mess this up. Alright, do these spoil? Yes, they do. Eight minutes? That's all the time I have? Uh, okay, um... Let me just, uh... Drop what we don't need. This thing does damage over time. And... 
Keep in mind, the Rock Drake had an Ascendant Saddle. This only has a primitive one. You do 903 damage. We just need to be able to tank this guy. Wait a minute, I think I can use the Rock Drake. Just don't hit it. Just don't hit it. As long as we don't hit it, we should be good. Alright, let's put you away. I think we can do this with the Rock Drake. I think we just gotta tank it. We have about 100,000 health, so we should be good. Alright. Alright, let me place the brain down. This is what we need. I don't know if we have to split this. Alright. It should smell the brain. I think it is heading towards the... Are you aggro to me or are you aggro to the brain? I think you are aggro to the brain. I think it, it will... I think it's going for it. Rapid regeneration. It says you're a parent. say you are a parent. Well, this thing does damage over time. Ouch. 917. That was both of my brains used up, by the way. Yeah, it does. Oh, there is a baby. You know what? Screw you. I know I don't have the... I know I don't have the Gigantoraptor on me, but screw you. I'm taking the baby. Oh, where's that baby? I think I see it. There it is. Oh, you're a beautiful color, too. All right, we got a baby Antrodemus. Let's put you in there. All right. Not quite how you tame an Antrodemus, but you know what? It's an easier way. It's way more convenient. I think he did eat both the brains. I don't know if there's a chance that it will go aggro, or if it's there. Hmm. Alright, the Megalosaurus is being tamed up. We're gonna head back home for now. I might pick up the Megalosaurus later on my spare time, see if I get, if I get the saddle real quick. Or if it tames by the time we're done showcasing it, then we'll go back and grab it. And then we'll see what goes on from there. So I'll see you guys back at base. Alright, and we're back at base. Finally. With the Antrodemus in our possession. I just decided, you know what? Instead of going to get more brains, I'll just tame the baby. So that's what we did. So now keep in mind, this doesn't have the extra bonus levels. Because we didn't have the Gigantoraptor on us. I should learn to bring it next time. So let's see what we got for stats. It's probably not going to have the greatest stats. But you know what? It's it's done. What's done is done. There's, there's the travel saddle. There's the storage attachment. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. You... Oh, and you craft it by hand. Okay. Alright. You know what? That seems easy enough. And... You think I don't see you there, but I do. Get out of here. That's the second time a Yi Ling has done that. They can latch onto my base and I wouldn't even know it. Alright. Let's head back to the main base. Make up a saddle. And since we can craft it by hand... It should be, we should be fine. Alright, let's check this bad boy out. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't have the bonus levels, nor is it, you know, the greatest level. 16 into health, 15 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 14 into weight, and 14 into melee. Now, we're just showing this off. That's all we're doing. 
All right, we got durability. Let's get the main saddle on this guy. Honey, works like a mortar and pestle. The Megalosaurus is almost tamed. After this, we'll go and pick it up and see how much, what stats that thing has. All right, for now, let's look at our Antrodemus. Our new Antrodemus. So already, with the left click, we do 161, but that's a pack. That's a pack of Raptors. They got the pack boost. 168. Please die. Thank you. All right, so we start with 2,900 health. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. But I'm sure once we add some stuff in, we can have the ultimate, like, battle dino or whatever. What was this Gigantoraptor? That is a 20. All right, we can we can kill that. You detect a max level. It's probably just a Listro. 224. That's good. Do we have any um, right click? Let's see what we got for right click. What can we do? Can we rapidly do it. Oh, we just ripped things to shreds. You can see. Well, there's a max level raptor. If you're a male. No, you're a female. All right. Now, uh, you're about to die anyway. You're not the fastest. Now, you're supposed to be like an Allosaurus done right. That's like the vibe I'm getting. You kind of look like an Allosaurus, too. Like what an Allosaurus should look like. Like a scientifically accurate Allosaurus. There we go. All right. Let's see what the attachments look like. So if we go in here, we've got the hands, apparently. We've got the legs, torso, head. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks sick. That looks sick. I like that. I like that. That looks sick. So what do we, what do we have? Like a mortar and pestle upgrade, helmet buff. Glove buff, pants buff, and does that, like, provide extra armor? I think that does. What level is this Dire Bear? That's a 75. 259. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's more damage than before. That's awesome. Let's see what the right click does. Oh, we just rip things to shreds. Does, like, the offhand thing do anything? Oh, that decreases our armor, and that allows us to have built-in, like, we can make narcotic on this guy, we can make stimulant, bug repellent, we can make a lot of the stuff we have on here. So, like, and we add weight reduction, so this one adds weight reduction, and this one adds a mortar and pestle. So basically, this thing's a mobile mortar and pestle. That's cool. Wait, are you the max level raptor near your 15? That would have been... That would have been nice taming a level 150 raptor. All right, we got 53 levels. Let's go up into a bit of health. Maybe go up to, say, 50,000 health. And then put the rest into melee. Maybe get that weight up to 1,000 and then put the rest into melee. This thing is pretty, pretty cool. 747, yeah, that's way better. Okay. Now, this guy heals very rapidly, so it's kind of like the Argentavis where everything it kills, it just it just rapidly heals. That's pretty cool, actually. Lasts for about half a minute. That was a 125 Ravager. Alright, let's see the roar. That's awesome. I think that scares things away. I think that's the case here. So yeah, this is the, the Antrodemus. Oh, hold on. Don't want you to die just because you jumped a little. Alright, and then maybe next episode we'll go on our next surface adventure. 1175, that's way better. Alright, stop moving. Let me eat this carcass. There we go. So yeah, this is the Antrodemus. 
a really cool looking dinosaur if you if I do say so myself. We've got a couple more levels. We got one more level. Let's level that up. Alright. I think it's time we go pick up that Megalosaurus. And then maybe we might bring Zazu just in case we find like something a little higher level. Alright, where's the rock, Drake? And the Megalosaurus just tamed. Awesome. So we'll go up to it and see what it's got. So, with a 135, I think it goes up to... 207? Or 209 or something like that? I know it goes up to... I don't know, I think, I think I'm thinking of a 140. I think it goes up to 205, I think? For a 135? So I think it gains an extra 70... I think it's an extra 75 levels for, like, everything you tame. Well, not everything you tame. Like, if it's a level 5, you only get two extra levels. That's another 135 female. This one has better stats. I'll tell you what. I'll tame this one on my spare time. This one could have better stats, so I'm going to see if I can tame this one. It already has better health and better melee. Alright, we got him. Down you go. Awesome. Stupid Arthroplurus. I'm just gonna clear the area. Do anything. Another 135 Megalosaurus with possibly better stats. Could be huge. And there we have it. Other 135 Megalosaurus has been tamed. Alright, let's get you home. And if that's the case, we'll have to reset the breeding. I don't think we got any mutated Megalosaurus yet. What level is this one? That's a 135 male. 15 into health. Could have really good melee. One more. One more Megalosaurus. That's it. Direct hit. Awesome. Alright. For the last time today, I will let you guys know when this Megalosaurus tames. So I'll see you in a little bit. And there we have it. The last Megalosaurus of the episode has been tamed. Two, we found three 135 Megalosaurus practically nearby each other. They're not quite the highest level. If I swear if you're okay, you're only a 10. All right, good. You are a beautiful color. And we are back for the final time today. Let's bring the rock Drake over to here. Drop whatever we don't need. We don't need the prime either. All right. Let's check out the stats of our three new Megalosaurs. So this is the first female that we tamed. Came out at a 202. 36 points into health, 33 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 37 into weight and 27 into melee. So it's got terrible melee. The rest of them are not great. And then we got this female with 35 points into health, 36 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. Only 17 points into weight? That's terrible. And 30 melee. So it's got way better melee. And then this one. 25, this is the male. 25 points into health, kind of terrible. 39 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 35 into weight and 36 into melee. What are the stats of our megalos? Like, what are the perfect stats? Let's take a look. So you had 34 into health and 35 into melee. Alright, so 36. Okay, so we did get a female with better health couple of them actually and we got a male with better melee so on my spare time i might breed those and get some better stats we all we'll have some slightly okay i'm stuck great we'll get some slightly better statted um what's it called uh megalosaurus all right it is getting crowded here i will admit but yeah 
Until then, that is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.